Hello, you're watching DrummerConnection.com. Today we're going to take a look at what I call paradiddle groove workout number one. It's not a new concept. A lot of you guys have probably heard this, but we're going to start in this journey and get some of our reading chops together at the same time. So basically all you're going to do is play a paradiddle flow on the snare drum to get started here. We're going to count and phrase these as 16th notes. Then all you do is simply move the right hand up to the hi-hat, get used to this paradiddle figure on the two different sound sources. Now something you'll hear me talk about a lot and is also very important here is dynamics. So let's look at the left hand pattern and let's work on playing that very quietly as ghost notes. Once we're comfortable with the paradiddle figure phrased on the hi-hat and as ghost notes on the snare drum, let's just practice accenting beat two and four as a rim shot. Now we've set up our hand pattern for our paradiddle groove setting. We're going to use this now to work out. Now it's time to get your reading chops together as well. You have to go to drummerconnection.com forward slash drum lessons and download the PDF that's available. There's a tab right under the window where you're watching the lesson. You want to click it, print that PDF file, and get it in front of you. What we're going to do now is practice reading these 12 one-bar figures that are on this page on the bass drum only. So your hands are going to be on automatic pilot, if you will. Not that easy, can be a little tricky. So once the hands are just flowing, the idea is to simply read the patterns off the PDF file, play them on the bass drum. Now you'll notice that you're looking at mainly quarter notes and eighth notes for this lesson. We're going to ease into this. We'll get into 16th notes later on. So let's take a look now at number two. Remember, the idea is to keep your hand pattern nice and steady. Make sure you stick to that paradiddle figure while you work out with the bass drum underneath. Let's move on now. Take a look at number six. The next example I want to give is number eight. This one gets tricky. I love to do this. This does not hit the downbeat of one, so as you loop it, it can feel a little strange. Here's number eight. And one final example for our paradiddle groove workout, let's move down and look at number 11.
Hope you guys are enjoying Paradiddle Groove workout number one. Like I said, pretty basic concept. A lot of us have heard this before. You'll notice that I move my right hand over to the cowbell for some of the demonstrations. That opens up a whole nother world of ideas. You can go up to the bell of the ride, even use the toms, all sorts of things. Again, we're easing into this. We're just reading eighth note and quarter note figures on the bass drum. There's a lot more stuff to cover. We're going to get into 16th notes real soon. We'll see you.